Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a while, it's been, uh, I mean it hasn't been that long, but I feel like it's been a while since I've sat down and actually had like a chat. Um, I, I normally do one or two videos a week. In January I was doing like three, um, and I'm normally like pretty hard on myself to get work done even if it doesn't feel natural or even if I'm like pushing myself a bit too much. But I just haven't been doing that in quarantine. Um, one, probably because I don't have a lot of my stuff, like I came home with one suitcase. Um, two, because what I'm posting about has completely changed, like I'm not doing the same kind of fashion stuff um, all the time, you know, I'm doing a little bit of it, but yeah. And I've also been trying to like really appreciate the downtime and get as much from it as I can. And like, I'm trying to find the positives in it, like obviously I'm back in Limerick when I'm supposed to be in New York. I had big hopes for what this year would be and it's not being that for me but it's gonna be good in other ways like I feel like I'm learning a lot more um but I'll get into that in a minute anyway the reason I'm doing this video is because I think it's really important to like use the time that we have to like reflect um and like bring positive changes and I know it can be really hard like and don't get me wrong like I've had my days as well where I'm just like hating quarantine and I want to get out and all my plans are messed up and it's costing me a fortune and all that stuff but I'm not going to talk about that because we all know that we're all going through that um I kind of want to focus on the good things and I've I've always found by being back in my childhood room I've been going through like my memory boxes but I've always found writing things down really really good for making sense out of things finding logic and clarity and all that stuff um, and like it's so funny reading back on stuff when I'm a teenager and now very 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 different and I've grown up a lot but um I've always enjoyed it so I did that and I just thought it would actually make a nice video so I did I wrote something last Wednesday things I've realized in quarantine um and I think when you start to focus on these kind of things it actually can make you start to enjoy quarantine you def I definitely need to remind myself to focus on those things because it can be hard when you're waking up it can be very monotonous and all that kind of stuff but when you do remind yourself you definitely start to feel better I think about the situation so the first one is something I've said before if you've watched my other New York videos you know this by now but I didn't actually know this about myself until recently um I like being around people that's the first thing um it's so weird like coming back here and being in my family house um, I love my family but I, even at Christmas I get a bit nervous coming home like oh god we're gonna spend so much time together you know we don't we all have our own space now we're all grown up we'll kill each other you know that kind of thing and like we haven't been at all like we've all been getting on really well and it's been really nice and like I feel so different waking up here in comparison to in New York and I I don't really want to get like I'm not stopping anyone from commenting anything but I know when I say that I get comments like oh you seem way happier in Ireland and you know, you should just move back and stuff like that. And I don't think that's what it is. I think it's just that I really like being around people and people like people that know me and love me. And in New York, not only am I by myself all the time because I live by myself and I work by myself. I also don't know that many people over there yet. Like I don't have my family, like my immediate family over there. I don't have my best friends that I went to school with over there or my college friends or, you know, the blogger girls that are now my work colleagues. and. I don't have that like and I really miss that and I've spent like that's such an important part of my life like I'm such a social person like I grew up in a house with six people I don't know I before I went to college I didn't know anything other than that then I lived in in college I like literally spent all my time with people and then I've just always been with people and now I'm like by myself a lot and even the thoughts of waking up you're by yourself you have your breakfast by yourself like that's really hard so when I was trying to figure out my plan for New York, I was thinking, should I go back over and move my stuff like immediately? But I'm gonna wait until the lease is up in September and I'm definitely gonna move in with somebody then. So unfortunately means that, that means I'm not gonna be in that apartment anymore, which is really stressful to think about like moving again with all that stuff. And it's gonna be expensive, but I think I'll probably save in the long run. So that's that. Um, yeah, I'm definitely happier. I'm like naturally, happier around people even if I don't talk to them in the morning even if we spend a lot of the day apart just having someone to sit down with and watch tv and eat dinner with and you know pop into if you need them for something that I really really appreciate that and that's 
me and that's okay like I was listening to I'm listening to Michelle Obama's book Becoming and she says she's like that too and I just feel like in New York you have to become very very like independent and a lot of my friends are and that for me can be a bit overwhelming because I don't know if I'll ever be that way like not fully you know so it's good to know that it's okay to be the way that I am especially when I work for myself so I just need to figure out a situation where I'm either working in a co-working space around people or living with people because I just can't do everything alone. Two, I've known this for a while but I just haven't really known how to change it. Um, I put way too much pressure on myself. Um, like my, I, I set goals and I set aims and plans and I always over plan like an over, like set my, my goals way too high so that if I don't get there I'll get something along the way um just like with work with moving country um and everything that came in with that just like everything life-wise like I I set things that I want and if they don't happen then I'm just very hard on myself about it um and I don't like consciously do it it's like subconsciously that's kind of how I talk to myself which is not good it's like I get an idea in my head and if things don't perfectly match up then it's a failure and that's just not the way it should be and I think oh, like in the past year and a half in particular I've been putting constant pressure on myself like I don't before quarantine I literally never did nothing I didn't like I didn't know how to and I put so much pressure on myself with moving that I feel like it was masked a lot by like the excitement but I put pressure on myself in every way for months constantly you know to get the apartment set up to get set up work-wise over there to make friends to feel happy um to keep in contact with people at home i have my own personal family things going on at home it was a lot of pressure and i always do that so i'm like it's normal but you have to pay attention to the fact that there's only so much you can take mentally like that's not good for you and i just feel like for a while i I lost like the enjoyment and things like I, I just kind of felt a constant pressure um, and I didn't give myself myself a chance to slow down and say that's okay like you've done really well you've done this much you know Um I didn't know how to just be and just not be doing something or not trying you know not trying to do something so I think with quarantine I've really really enjoyed just being and just doing nothing and thinking of something to do that isn't related to work or isn't related to getting something done it's just like for pure enjoyment or if I'm tired I'll just sleep a little bit longer you know that's another thing like I work for myself I have the flexibility to do that and anyone who follows me knows literally in January I was getting up at six o'clock every day like what's there's no need you know what I mean not when I don't have anywhere to be um I just kind of wear myself out to the point of like exhaustion and stress and I'm gonna try moving forward to listen to my body a little bit more and listen to my head and how I'm feeling. Yeah, and I think that's a really good lesson. The third thing I've learned is that I get the greatest happiness from like simple things. Walking, spending time, being silly with my family, playing with the dogs, sunshine, sunsets, good music, good food, inspiring books, writing, I have been enjoying exercising and I, I found ways to do things, new ways to do things that are a lot cheaper, that cost me nothing, like walking, running outside, that you know I used to spend a lot of money on and it's like moving forward, that's all gonna change for me. I don't need to be, you know, going out spending money to do something every night. I can sit in with a book or I can walk with listening to a book or, you know, stuff like that. It's really nice to be reminded of like, what actually makes you happy and like I know that sounds silly but like just that feeling of being like oh that was a good day and I'm like I'm doing nothing in comparison to what I used to do and I'm like happier do you know I think just sometimes making life simpler can actually just make it the way it's probably supposed to be um so yeah I think after quarantine I really want to like try and bring that with me and you know It'll be hard because I won't have my family in New York, um, but just to like, you know, take time away from my phone. I often go out walking here without my phone and I often like will sit, like leave my phone upstairs and go down and talk to my sisters and stuff. I think um, 
like when all this is over I, I want to do more of that just more like spending time with people I think everyone's going to be eager for that so I'm excited for that when quarantine ends as well the fifth thing I've learned is that I'm good alone and I've been kind of spending time like reconnecting with myself which I know sounds silly as well but like looking back on things you know from when I was a teenager here and what I wanted then and then what I was like in ways there's in certain ways I was definitely a lot like more sure if who I was and what I wanted than I am now but in other ways like I know myself a lot better you know um and I feel really good like by myself I feel like I'm good company I'm really happy I know what, what makes me happy I know to a certain extent what I want yeah and I just feel like yeah I'm obviously not dating because nobody is dating um because you can't quite meet people but like I really just feel content by myself um and it's really nice just to feel like that happy alone do you know what I mean so I think that like when you have been in relationships it can take a while to adjust to that and to feel like that but I do um another thing I've learned the sixth thing I've learned no the fifth thing I've learned is the power of my online community so on Saturday I reached 200,000 followers on Instagram which is a lot of people um, and I just feel like over the last year with moving and with different things I've gone through I've been able to like share things and connect with people and I've been getting so m I've gotten so m I get so many messages all the time just people's stories like things that they relate to and um, when I came home from New York I started a fundraiser for Pieta House and we've raised close to 90,000 euro now I think last night it was 89,500, which is like insane. I never, I set the goal for 5,000. I never would have thought I'd be able to raise that much. And it just shows um, the, the power of the people that follow me, that I have here, that watch these videos, um, that message me, that like my photos. And now I'm in quarantine, it's weird because I can't meet anyone or anything like that. but. It's still nice to feel like there's a whole group of people there that it's like a separate, it's like a totally separate relationship to like the ones I have with my friends or the ones I have with my family. It's like another group of people all together, you know, another group of friends. So yeah, if you follow me, uh, I just want to let you know that I really do appreciate the group of people I have on there. I feel like I have a lot of supportive people and you know, the fact that there were so many people willing to donate to something that's so close to my heart makes me think that we're all very alike so yeah it's nice it's a nice feeling um another thing i've learned is that in quarantine uh, being disciplined and having goals is really important so as much as i talk about being more relaxed and enjoying the downtime i do i've i've started to try and treat the, the weeks differently to the weekends so i'll try and work out every day during the week and try and try and be healthier it doesn't always happen um but yeah goals like for me because I'm not very busy with work at the moment my goals are just like trying to get out to walk every day or trying to read a book or try my trying to write every day stuff like that having little goals like that my overall goal I suppose is to come out of quarantine better than I came into it and I really do feel like so far I am the seventh thing I've learned this is kind of a weird one and it probably could be a video for itself in itself and I kind of wondered if I should share this but reading back on my old diaries and just knowing how I feel in quarantine, I know a lot of people are probably feeling like this in quarantine. I am never going to be totally satisfied with my body or my weight. And um, weight is something I just hate talking about. I hate looking at it. It's not good for you. You shouldn't be focusing on it. But at the end of the day, people still weigh themselves. I do sometimes, you know. What does it mean when the numbers go up? What does it mean when the numbers go down? It's really annoying. Ugh. But, um... Yeah, I just feel like that's something I've learned that it's something I'll probably always struggle with to a certain extent, but I try and just have like a positive attitude about it. It's basically like as long as I can remember it's something that I've struggled with because I can see it in my diaries. Um, and even when I was 20 pounds lighter than I am now, I still wasn't happy. Um, it's just something that I have struggled with and probably will struggle with and that's totally fine. Like everyone has their own things, you know. But I just try and, you know, exercise every day. It makes me feel good. It gets my endorphins flowing. I try and get the right balance of not depriving myself, but also being healthy and good to my body. 
um and it's just like i just think it's important to talk about this because i know in quarantine everyone's feeling gross like we're eating differently than we normally do you know trying to get into new workout routines is hard and i think the important thing to know is that your weight is going to change mine has several times especially as a girl it can be to do with hormones it can be to do with something medication you're on it can be to do with your lifestyle um maybe you've gone through a really difficult time maybe you're happy maybe you're sad like so many things can affect your weight and i think it's just really important to to not worry about it too much you know be healthy try and get the balance right if you don't it doesn't matter like you know honestly nobody notices if you put on a few pounds here or there i think the most important thing is to like focus on your happiness your relationship with yourself talking to yourself the way you talk to your friends and also just being like a good presence to be around you know um yeah and the eighth thing i've learned the last thing i'm going to talk about for now is that i can live on a lot less than i usually do and i think that's something i'm really going to try um, and bring forward with me past quarantines just like i'm happiest like when things are just quite simple and you know when someone says do you like describe a perfect day i feel like it's very hard to do because perfect days only happen i think when you're like doing the most simple things that make you happy i had a really nice day on saturday and it involved going for a walk having nice weather spending time with my family eating a nice meal and the, the, there was nothing complicated about it like so i think just going forward like obviously living in new york things can be very expensive but to not get carried away with constantly being busy constantly needing to have plans whether it's travel plans weekend plans dinner plans like i'm quite good at being happy with like simpler things and things that don't cost a fortune and i don't need to be busy every day of every week you know just to kind of live a little bit more simply i think it's going to be something that i want to bring forward after all this but anyway that's that's my thoughts i feel like i'm much better at writing these down than i am at talking about them but i thought sharing them might um remind some of you like what you've gotten from quarantine and um, maybe I've touched on something that you have felt yourself um yeah let me know what you think and I feel like I'm being very open now probably too open for sure I enjoy these videos these are my favorite kind of ones to record because I feel like people get like a sense of me and then I, I don't know people share like their personal experiences and thoughts and stuff and it's just nice so yeah thank you so much for watching I don't know when I'll be back with another video, when I feel inspired again. Um, but yeah, I'll talk to you soon and I hope you're all doing okay in quarantine and hopefully life will start to resume some sense of normality soon. Okay, bye guys.